Welcome back to our channel. If you've had a rapture dream or a testimony that you'd like to share, feel free to send your video to my email or telegram. You'll find the details in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to share a rapture dream that I've been given permission to post by our sister in Christ. Let's dive in and explore her profound experience. Hello. I am back this morning with, um, I did have another dream and I did want to share a couple of things. Um, so if this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, I did post one other video. <laughs> I am by no means a YouTuber, um, or anything of the sort, but I posted one other video. Um, I posted that on Friday morning and, um, I have to admit that not a ton of forethought went in to making that video um it had been on my heart for for quite some time like you should make a video and you should share this and there are i made the video to be shared um with a couple of channels that i follow that share rapture dreams and and that was really the thought process i will make this video um and i will share the link i will email the link to these creators and um then eventually it will be seen hopefully and um i did not have any expectation that anybody would really see it until it was posted to those channels but uh you know we make plans and the lord numbers our steps so um i i did have another dream over the weekend i was saturday evening going into sunday morning um i have a husband that snores and so I often will find myself making my way to the sofa in order to get some sleep and it was about I guess maybe like 2 45 on Sunday morning that I made my way down to the sofa and um you know often I find myself in prayer during those times I think well I, I'm up for a reason you must want to talk to me about something. So, um, I had noticed, uh, you know, I did check my phone and I had seen that, that people had actually seen my video, which I was like, wow, Lord, I was not expecting that. That is, um, what you doing there? Um, but anyway, uh, as I was praying, um, I wasn't able to sleep for about two hours. Um, but I, you know, I feel like sometimes we pray for things and then on the other side of it, we're like, oh, okay. Um, but I did say to the Lord, you know, if there's anything else that you would like, you know, to reveal to me or um, essentially, hey, I'll share it if, if there's something that you want to trust me with. And so I fell asleep in that time and I had a very quick dream. And so I will share that. Um, in this dream, I was, I was in a home that felt like mine, but it wasn't familiar. Um, and I was, the whole back of the house had windows and, uh, as I was walking up to one of the windows, I could see that there was a bunny outside and, um, that's not, that's actually not uncommon for my actual home. Like we have lots of little bunnies in our neighborhood. And so we're often, you know, looking for bunnies and seeing little bunnies outside of our window. And so, um, I approached the window and I realized that there were a lot of bunnies out there. There were a lot of bunnies, I all in piles. And I looked to the left and there was, um, there was an alligator and I was thought, wow, like I was just blown away. And as I walked along the back of the house and I'm looking cause I, the house, the back of the house was lined with windows, which my house is similar to that. But, um, I'm seeing all these animals out there. Um, there were penguins, there was a nest of owls and I was just blown away thinking what, what are all these animals doing? And, and how are they not, you know, um, attacking each other? <laughs> Honestly, it was one of my thoughts. Um, but in my dream, I knew that my mom was upstairs. And so I went upstairs and my sister and I went upstairs to them. And I said to my mom, you know, quietly like, Hey, you know, you got to come down and see this. Cause I didn't want, you know, to scare the animals away. Um, but prior to going upstairs, I will say that I was trying to 
I hate when this happens in dreams. I was trying to get a video of it on my phone because I'm like, nobody's going to believe me. And I can't, you know, I can't get to the video. I'm trying to close all the apps. And finally, I just gave up and I went upstairs and I, you know, I was like, they got to see this for themselves. So I went upstairs to get my mom and my sister and I was like, quietly like, guys, come downstairs, like be quiet, but you got to look, you got to see this. Like, this is unreal. So they come up to the window and I look out and, um, like, do you see all these animals out there? And they just kind of look at each other and they look at me and they're like, no. <laughs> and, um, so I'm like, really? You don't see that? Like all those bunnies over there and, and we're walking along the windows. And as I looked out the windows, there was a little like huddle of little monkeys. And then inside there was a plant on the floor and there was a monkey sitting in the plant and he kind of like grabbed onto my arm. And I was like, you don't, you don't see this monkey that's on me. Like you don't see all these animals. And they're like, no, nope, we don't see a thing. And I started to get so, um, I was frustrated, but I was also sad in my heart, I guess. I was thinking like, am I crazy? Um, I think, I think that I must be crazy because it was so real to me. Um, and so as we're standing there, it gets dark, not in the house, but literally it was like somebody switched the sun off and there was no sun. There was no moon. There was no stars. It was pitch black. And I looked at them and I said, well, can you at least see that it's dark out now? And my mom looked at me and she was terrified. Um, and she was like, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's really dark. And she went to make her way to the front of the house. And, um, it was, there was a big boom and I felt it in my chest and in my, I, I knew in my dream that it was a bomb. And, um, so it was, it was not dark in the house, but it was pitch black outside and there was a, a bomb that went off that was so loud, so close, so great of a, of a, of a force that I could feel it in my chest. And, um, we were down on the ground and she, my mom is saying to me, um, what can you see? What do you see? What do you see? Um, because at that point, I guess she knew that I was seeing things that she couldn't see. And so I looked out the window and all I could see across the street was like a picture window in a home. And that was the only light I could see was coming out of that window. And I could see someone, the silhouette of someone in the home. And half the window was just like a regular window and the bottom was um, stained glass. And there was like a fruit bowl in the stained glass. That's what the stained glass was. And I didn't have a chance to answer her. Um, as she's saying, what do you see? What do you see? But as she's saying this, she is kind of like touching, playing, like touching me, kicking me with her foot, almost as if like my young boys are, um, two and a half and four, they're like 15 months apart. And you know, they, they mess with each other. They play with each other. So it was almost as if like my one boy was kind of like an antagonizing the other, like with his foot, like trying to distract him, trying to get his attention. And, um, that's the best way that I can describe it. And as she was asking me, but she was also like, I felt like she was trying to distract me as I was looking and trying to see what was going on. And I didn't answer her what I saw, but I just started to pray. I started to pray, dear Lord, hear my prayer. And I woke up, I came out of the dream and it was very, it was a short dream. I mean, I didn't look at the clock, but, um, it was very short. And when I woke up, I had this, I don't know, the best way I can describe it is there's a way that I dream and there is a way that, I don't know, the Lord reveals things to me. And I certainly do not claim to be anything. I am the most, I, you know, I say that I am the most human human that has ever humaned. Um, but there are, there's a, <clears throat> There's a, there's a way that the Lord reveals things in dreams. And, um, some of you may know this very well. Uh, but I woke up and I, 
I knew <clears throat> what some of what he was trying to say to me in that dream and and <clears throat> me being able to see those animals and my family not being able to see them was um I mean the most in the most simple way the difference between being asleep and and being awake um you know I, I often think to myself like how are other people not seeing the signs of the times or how how do people not see it you know um and in my dream when I felt like am I crazy like is it me um I think that the Lord was trying to say that you know well you're not crazy <laughs> but there will and the, when it went from only me being able to see to the lights going out and everyone being able to see that, that, you know, there will come a time when it is revealed to everyone, when everyone is able to see. Um, and as we went in to the front of the house and I'm looking out the window and my mom was trying to distract me, I really felt the, you know, the Lord is trying to say, and I'm trying to pray and my mom is trying to distract me. You know, I feel like the Lord is really saying like, focus on me, keep your focus on me. There are all these things that are going to come to try to distract you and, you know, maybe try to deceive you. Um, and but keep your eyes on me and focus on me. And that's where our focus needs to be. Um, and so, you know, I felt really encouraged by that when I woke up, um, you know, I did, I did tell the Lord in prayer before I fell asleep, you know, I'll, I'll share this if you want to trust me with it. So, um, here I am, but, um, you know, I, like I said, I did post the rapture video and just to sort of, um, speak on that a little bit. Um, I, I don't really have any opinion on a pre-tribulation rapture or a mid-tribulation rapture or no rapture. Um, for me personally, um, I put all my faith in Christ um, and all my trust in him. And, um, you know, I don't know about many of you, but um, I got excuse me, I got pulled out of a, of a real pit. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got pulled out of a real pit and, uh, and how, um, how do you, uh, how do you repay someone for that? You know, how do you, um, how do you say thank you for for saving my soul. And, um, and so I think that for my dream, Jesus is really trying to say, uh, keep your heart set on me. Um, it's not, you know, we don't know. I don't know. I don't have any answers. <laughs> I'm searching for them all the time, but my goal in this life is to get to know him as best I can and um, to just give him my whole heart, man, because how, how else do you, do you thank someone for saving you? Um, and uh, so all that to say, I, I, I put all my hope and all my trust and all my faith in Christ, not in a rapture, you know, um, because he, I don't think that we're meant to figure it all out. And I see all sides of, well, this says this and that says that. And, um, and I read it and I see it and I study my Bible and I pray, um, and I ask for revelation. And there are so many things that I could share about my walk with Christ. And maybe someday I will reveal those things. Um, in the near future, you know, in the, in the distant future, I don't know. Like I said, like, this is about him. It's certainly not about me. 
but I really hope that, that this encourages someone. Um, and I do believe, you know, I know how frustrating it is to, to maybe like in my dream, like we see things a certain way and we think, how can you not, how do you not see that? Um, and, you know, we have our point of view, um, or, you know, we believe in Christ and other people are, you know, they don't, they don't have a creator. They don't believe in a creator or, um, they believe in something entirely different. And we think, how do you not see it? Um, and I think that that, that's what, that's what that meant in my dream. But there will come a time when everyone sees, you know, that that's our promise. That's our hope. Um, you know, we have our, we have the word. And sometimes I think, you know, I feel like it's kind of an open book test, like the hardest <laughs> open book test ever. Um, but keep your eyes set. You know, he wants, he wants your heart and he, he wants you to seek him and, um, and his ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts. And, you know, we're all entitled to our own beliefs, but, you know, we have the most beautiful lover of our souls and keep your eyes set on him and he will do amazing things for you. Um, so I pray that this blesses you. I pray that, um, you know, I don't know. I'm just trying to share because I told him that I would and, uh, he'll figure he'll do the rest from there. So have a great day and, uh, maybe I'll talk to you soon. God bless you.